Mom, Dad, and Rich have been acting weird all evening, to be honest. I can't quite put my finger on it. They just seem closer than they ever have before. I've caught looks between them and Rich at family events before, looks that seemed almost longing. But I never thought to ask either of them about it. So, I'm pretty relieved when Dad asks to talk to me. If he doesn't explain what's going on, though, I know that Ever knows and is going to fill us in. I did as she asked earlier and watched the three of them. She was right. They all seemed so much happier, and some of their interactions reminded me of a less obvious version of how the guys and I are with Ever. Rich and Dad never strayed too far from Mom. Usually, it's just Dad. But something about their dynamic and how comfortable they are with each other screams of a mutual past. Dad leads me off to the side, and I watch as all the others go upstairs, probably to watch a film. I know I told her earlier, but I really did miss her. I think today was the longest we spent away from her since she arrived, and despite the fact that she was in the same house as me, I still missed her. The depth of my feelings for her is scary, to be honest. What's up, Dad? I've just noticed a couple of things and wanted to talk to you about it. He starts. I can't help but tense up, crossing my arms over my chest in preparation for whatever he's about to say. I have no doubt that this has something to do with Ever. I thought my parents were fine with it. They had no problem with the fact that we were all taking her to the winter formal, and we haven't exactly been subtle in showing her our affection. I love my parents. They're honestly awesome. But if they try to tell me I can't spend time with Ever anymore, then we're going to have a serious problem. Since I'm already 18, they don't really get to have much of a say anyway. I would hate for it to come to that, though. No matter what, son, make sure you follow your heart, he begins. I can feel my eyebrows furrow with confusion. Not where I thought this was going to go. No matter what anyone else will think, no matter how unconventional it is, if it feels right, follow your heart. His gaze skips over my shoulder, and I follow it seeing Mom with her arm wrapped around Rich's waist, his arm wrapped around her shoulders, pulling her in close. Rich looks up, and I turn back in time to see my dad wink at him. Again, not the reaction I was expecting. What is going on? He focuses on me again. If you have any questions about anything, I want you to know that you can come to me. There will be no judgment. I nod, and he takes that as a cue to pull me in for a hug, and then walks back over to Mom and Rich, all of them disappearing through the door and into the night. 